Now to a disturbing story out of Lake Oswego this morning where a father is accused of drugging three 12-year-old girls at his home during his daughter's sleepover. Fox's Bonnie Silkman is joining us now in studio after looking over court documents. Bonnie, good morning. Good morning. That's right. A father in Lake Oswego, 57-year-old Michael Maiden, turned himself in this week after being accused of lacing mango smoothies with a drug that's usually used to treat insomnia and panic attacks and then giving those drinks to three 12-year-old girls at his daughter's sleepover. According to court documents, this all happened in August of last year in Maiden's Lake Oswego home. He's accused of putting the drug benzodiazepine into those smoothies. Court documents say the girls reported feeling groggy, some of them even blacking out. The documents also say that Maiden made repeated visits to the basement where the girls were sleeping, watching them sleep, and at one point even holding his finger under one girl's nose and waving his hand in front of her face to see if she was asleep. Now, one of those girls, according to court documents, managed to stay awake. She texted her mother just before 2 a.m. saying, quote, Mom, please pick me up and say I had a family emergency. I don't feel safe. I might not respond, but please come get me. Please, please pick up. Please, please. The documents also say that she then contacted a family friend who picked her up and took her home to wake her parents. And around 3 a.m., two of the other parents of the girls went to the house to get them. Documents say Maiden resisted letting those parents inside at first, telling the parents the girls were asleep. Maiden finally let the parents in and the girls were taken home. All three girls did test positive for that drug. Maiden, meanwhile, pleaded not guilty yesterday. He is facing charges, including causing another person to ingest a controlled substance. And according to those court documents, he lives in Vancouver and did pay his bail. We'll keep a close eye on this developing case. Mia and Kim, back to you.